Immigration Minister the Honorable Ellsworth Johnson, meantime, also speaking out, defending the fisheries legislation. He says it's necessary to protect and preserve our marine resources as it speaks to stability and sovereignty. We looked at persons who would get general work permits to work, permanent residents who would, get right, uh, uh, would want to work in certain areas. And this is not a matter of recent vintage. The Constitution allows this. Persons can't just come and be, decide want to be an MP and you're not a citizen or a senator or a police officer or any varied number of um, uh, areas. But the intention in terms of looking at a, an industry that's under threat worldwide, we're the envy of the world in terms of our resources and how do we protect it. The immigration minister also stressed the need to protect the vital sector for future generations. But at this point, the government has, has, has taken a stand, you know, and, and we are about talking about oil, talking about natural resources and how Bahamians, Bahamian simpliciter, should take advantage of it. And the first step that is being made, I've heard uh, the former prime minister, and it's beautiful in a constitutional democracy that people could come forward and make their, their, their wishes known. But at the end of the day, the government is to make laws for the peace, order, and good governance of this country. And that is in the best interest of this country.